field. In fact, even in the length of time that it's took for you to say that, that little spot has gone away. Single setback this time. On second down, play fake. Smith, or rather, the give this time, I beg your pardon, to Taylor, and Taylor doesn't get much. Might have gotten back to the line of scrimmage. Derek Smith makes the tackle for the Sun Devils. Let's take a look at Arizona's lineup. Brought to you by Southwest Airlines. Gary Taylor carried the ball that time. Will be the running back. Charles Miles, the fullback. With Williams McDaniel, who has come on. And Mike Lucky, the tight end. Frank Middleton, the standout. And a guy who's uh, woofing quite a lot on the offensive line. Wayne Wyatt didn't expect to start, but Dick Tomey, when we talked to him yesterday, said this game has a way of healing players. Third down and ten. Out of the shotgun. Smith steps up. Will run. Trying to get outside of the 45, got about four back, but the Cats will have to give it up. Pat Tillman ran him out. But the quickness of Keith Smith right there, very evident. They had Scott Bondra, he's just waiting for him, and he couldn't run him down. Thankfully, he had some help from his cornerback. Otherwise, uh, Smith would have picked up that first down. Yeah, that time, they had a spy on Smith. When you and I talked right. with Bruce Snyder yesterday, he said, uh, we're not always going to do that. Redmond is going to be the deep man to receive the punt of Peyton. game starting out at a very intense rate. Good high kick that he turns over. Redman gets out of the way at about the 10-yard line, bounces out at the four, and you just can't do it much better than that. So the Wildcats and the Sun Devils each fail in their first possession. Devils will have it at their own four when we come back. ASU fans, here's your chance to show your Sun Devil spirit with officially licensed Rose Bowl merchandise, the ASU Team Shop, in the south end zone of Sun Devil Stadium. Show your support as all proceeds will benefit the ASU Athletics Program. Now on sale are limited edition posters featuring Coach Bruce Snyder and scenes from the unforgettable 1996 season for only $9, a commemorative media guide for only $8, and all your favorite Sun Devil apparel. Celebrate the season by stopping by the ASU Team Shop today. You can own a piece of Arizona State football history. One at a time, Destination Pasadena is the official ASU season highlight video. Relive all the season's exciting moments, from the Sun Devils' upset in Nebraska to the win over rival Arizona. Travel with the team to Pasadena and go behind the scenes at the Rose Bowl. For your copy of One at a Time, Destination Pasadena, call toll-free 1-800-301-9775. Videos are $19.95. That's 1-800-301-9775. It's your chance to own a piece of history. Hey, Water Guy here with a Whataburger special feature presentation. Right now, we're featuring our hot, fresh, made to order Whataburger with bacon and cheese. We use only the finest 100% American beef, a large slice of cheese, and three strips of crispy bacon with fresh pickles, lettuce, tomatoes, and onions, all on a toasted bun. The Whataburger with bacon and cheese. So, what you waiting for? Just say bacon and cheese, please. So, hurry on in. Just tell them Water Guy sent you. The strength and beauty of a thoroughbred. The power of a Vortec engine. The ride of a champion. The comfort of a roomy interior. And right now is a great time to get all the power, grace, and style of a 96 Sierra by GMC. Now, before the 96 model year comes to an end. Sierra by GMC. See your GMC dealer today. No score in this ball game. Jake Plummer having a little bit of trouble getting the Arizona State offense on track. And Arizona will start at their own 25-yard line. Rodney Williams goes to the far side. They bring Brennan in the slot. Three wide outs out of the shotgun. No tight end. Smith locks it up here for Williams. And Williams makes the catch at midfield. There was a little contact there, and Williams came down with it. I think the story has gotten out. That the, that the one weakness in this ASU defense is at the corner position. Jason Simmons that time just gets outplayed for the ball. It's just as simple as that. They both got a shot at it. He loses his balance and loses the battle as well. But, but Arizona is clearly attacking the ASU corners. They did it on the first play of the game. 
And here they do it on the first play of this series. Gain of 25, ball right at midfield. Out of the eye formation this time. They fumble it, Smith falls on it. Back at the 44, a loss of six. Looked like, uh, looked like Taylor didn't expect to get that ball. He thought it was a fake that Smith was trying to give it to him. From the end zone, no, that ball just shot out. It shot right through, right through the bread basket, out the other side. But it took a very fortuitous bounce, incidentally, yes, it did. Keith Smith. Yes, it did. It's only second down, 16 now. Second fumble of the ball game for the Wildcats. Again, they go out of the shotgun, three wide out, slot left. And again, this time on a delay to Taylor. He's got no place to go except backwards. And he's hit for a loss of three by Vince Amy. The ASU defense, as a result of Keith Smith's ability to run with the ball, is playing a reading defense. They're not rushing up the field hard. They're staying in their lanes, they're, they're, and, and they're, they're covering their particular area, playing, and playing an area rather than everybody just going after the ball. See what Arizona State has done defensively against the run. A very difficult team to run against. Again, three wide out. Yeah, draw play's not going to work unless you got a defense that's rushing up the field. Smith with time. Now he'll tuck it away, try to run, and they got him back there for another loss. Brett Bernstein makes the stop this time, and the Cats can only go backwards and will have to give it up. Excellent defensive stance by the Arizona State Sun Devils. First big play of the game goes to the Wildcats, however, in terms of their offense. They complete a long pass on first down, but then they can't convert it. Payton will punt it away, and that is Redmond, who has not been on the punt return team for a couple of weeks. Got a little banged up against Oregon State, but right now Bruce Snyder says he's running faster than ever. Fresh legs, amazing what a week off will do. A good kick this time from Payton, and they get Redmond right now, flagged down. And I think they're probably going to say that they did not give Redmond time or space to catch the football. You got to give him two yards. And I disagree with this call, Barry. The, the timing was absolutely perfect by the Arizona coverage on Michael Smith on the coverage. Watch this. He's running full speed. And I just think that's a great play by the Arizona cover team. Non-contact, non-contact, five-yard interference with an opportunity. Five-yard penalty, first down. It's Mikhail Smith rather than Michael Smith, but uh, nonetheless, in my opinion, that was a great play. Negated a very good punt. Here's a look. See what you think. Close. Very close. Saw that call three times in the Michigan-Ohio State game today. Poole comes in motion on first down. Plummer rolls. Now he'll run. At the 25. And now he's got room. At the 30. At the 40 and out of bounds. And that is exactly the kind of thing that Jake Plummer has been doing all year long. Now he's a spark plug, Barry. And when they need a spark, he provides the spark. He's done it all year long, over and over again, 25 yards on that play, and he's the leading rusher for Arizona State. Close to having a clip here that almost brought this back. Could have been a critical mistake. Coming up right. Well, there, it was on number 11. Go on to the eye Chris formation. McAllister. I'll give it to battle, and we're going to get a flag before the play. I'm sorry, Dan. Sorry, Barry. No, I, uh, McAllister, I could have could have been a clip on the play, but that didn't get called. McAllister didn't go down. So big play by, by Jake Plummer. You've been talking all year, though, about the feet Prior of Jake Plummer. Ball start on the offense. Five-yard penalty. Still first down. And you got a pretty good look at exactly what you've been uh, talking it, about. It's one of those things that you can't coach. Uh, he just got great, great feet. And, you know, it's not something that shows up in the statistics. 209 yards rushing. Of course, that's, that's not close when you compare it to the other guy. Well, I'll tell you where it does show up. It doesn't show up in the statistics, but it shows up in the scouting reports. Oh, yeah. Single setback, three wideouts this time on first and 15. Give it this time to battle, big gap. He's at midfield. He's at the 45 and at the 43-yard line. Kelly Balbo with a saving tackle. And that's the result, usually, of a play like that. Arizona had a big play, but couldn't continue to fuel the fire. Now Arizona State gets a big play. They come right back with another big play. 
And they've got a little bit of momentum going now. Got a nice clear-out block from Kyle 